again. It's Priscilla Vetzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a paint chip again. I see it. It doesn't want to come off. Okay, well my canvas is wet. I'm going to put down some Decor Americana 24 karat gold dots. Because it's worked with colors, so why not the gold? And I really want to make an impact with the Artist Loft Cobalt Blue, which I call Turquoise. I mean, impact. I really want it to show up. And I really love my purple flash from Folk Art. And I don't know how to make a swipe go the full length unless I have the right amount of paint, but people usually start with one line, but my background layer is a lot thinner. So I'm really thinking that I might want to finish with some of my Venetian blue from Modern Modern Masters. Yeah, ma yep, it's Modern Masters. It could be Masters. No, it's not Masters Touch. It's Modern Masters. All right, so this time I'm going to risk it. I might put a little more gold at the bottom. I think I'm going to have too much paint. It's really tempting to go from the bottom inward, and I might be more than tempted to do that. Yeah, I'm changing it up a little bit. I have little tools, and I have Aussie, Cell, Aussie Flow Troll Cell Activator with Amsterdam Black in it. And I think I'm going to relieve that dish of any paint chips. Take a couple of my tools, a couple few maybe even. They're acetate. I'll put the link underneath the video. And I will go to town. I think I'm also going to use some purple in there and some white. The purple is a dioxazine purple. Ooh, that worked quite nicely. I think I've got to scrape this here. it'll open. Now it's time to use the purple. I That makes me want some dioxazine purple in there. And I'm really tempted by some white. I like how the white looks. And it usually disappears. So if I put a little bit of Anita's white metallic in, at this point, I don't think it can hurt anything. I'm just going to keep swiping through with my little tool. I might go from the opposite direction. I really want to use some of this purple. And some white. I wish a gold cell activator would work for me. I haven't had that opportunity yet. I'm going to scrape that off before I go any further. And just keep making marks. I'm going to give myself a little purple to dip. I might be tempted, very tempted in fact, to leave some of that black background. It really depends on how things go.
and how much paint I pick up on my little tool. These little tools are great for covering the edges of canvases. I think these colors are going to be stellar as long as I don't change them too much by going back again and adding more marks, although I kind of love adding the marks, so that might be hard to stop doing. I love using my residual paint. I don't mind leaving some of that gold behind. I like leaving some solid colors lots of times. Trying to use as much cell activator as I can, but I'm not really dipping it. I kind of rubbed through it that time. Just taking that residual that's stuck right to my little there are more paddles than anything. That's pretty cool. I'm liking this. I do want to steal a little paint. I might do that more than once. I'm not talking because I'm having too much fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was planning on using a larger tool, but I'm not um, not feeling like it's totally necessary right now. Come on, flip in my hand. Nice. Somebody's going to tell me what it looks like. For some reason, my imagination doesn't come up with as many interesting things as the people who watch me. But that's okay with me, too. I like that. That must be so like, no, I remember I put some dioxazine purple in it. Let's try some plain white, which is much thicker than anything else for whatever reason, I don't know. taking a chance that I have cell activator left on my little tool and also that paint will relax off of it. It's too much fun doing this. It really, really is. Take it a little bit at a time. I'm almost done too. I should probably tell you guys stuff. I like the white jumping back and forth and the little bit of bits of white in there. I think I'm going to grab, first I'm going to wipe that off one more time. I'm going to try the white with some purple. I'm going to go from the bottom up to, and all the way over. Make a whole DNA strand, <laughs> which is what it looked exactly like when I was doing it. I like it. I'm having a hard time not moving that, that one little blob there. I have smaller tools too, and I might want to take one of them at least and do some more. Although when I watch these videos back, I'm like, why didn't you stop there? <laughs> so I have to think twice lately. I'm going to be happy with, as happy with it in the finished place. So you need a somewhat copious, 
amount of paint or cell activator in order to use these tools. Fortunately, I have both of those things right now. I didn't really want to get rid of all that purple. I think I should call that good. Call it the kelp bed. Throw the odd spiral in. <laughs> because I can. That is the name of my first book on the Amazon link next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. The Amazon link is on the link tree. The link tree is the first or the second. It's the second blue link under the video because I often will include the instructional video on how to make these little tools. Someday I might do a 3D printer version of them and make them available to everyone but for right now these are prototypes for me and I want to make sure I find out everything I can about how they're going to work. That's just nice colors. Very pretty. All right. I love you guys. Thank you guys for all the donations that helped keep me painting all this time. And thank you even more for the wonderful comments that keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate that. If you'd like to be included in the monthly drawing, a donation through PayPal, whose icon is on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner, will get you right in there immediately. Automatically. <laughs> I'll send you a receipt. <laughs> Anyway, where was I? Please give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. I am going to torch. To release any bubbles caught in the paint. That little cell. Looks like it could be a spiral pretty easily. Alright, let's torch. When you share my videos, you help me out and I appreciate that. I don't have thousands of viewers. I have hundreds of viewers. So those of you who are here and loyal, I really, really appreciate you and I want to thank you so much for inspiring me and keeping me going. Really, really appreciate it. I see something I want to fix. It was no big deal. I might use a little, a little of my leftover paint and fill in a couple of spots. And I'm going to zoom in and show you guys all my pretty cells. And all the neat shapes. I like the black negative space left behind. It's kind of fun. Another swipe. All right. On my link tree, you'll find my website, my Facebook groups, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. My paint pouring recipe is below the link tree. So is my email address. When you click show more, you'll find the paint pouring recipe and uh, my cell activator recipe. If you have questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer them. If I have the answers, I'll let you know. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. If you're interested in purchasing an artwork or getting information about a class in Spring Hill, use the email address and make an inquiry. I'll get right back to you. Usually, unless something weird has happened to me. My community board has tomorrow's video on it. Um, I post seven days a week and there's over 2,200 videos organized by topic, genre, and by the hundred. If you need a playlist or a link, let me know. Um, or a suggestion. I'd be happy to help. I do torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint, and I need to do that right now because <laughs> I said I would, but I didn't. I don't think. I wanted something with a lot more of that cobalt turquoise, cobalt blue showing, and I'm hoping that this is it. See, I have a little tiny bit of canvas right here on the edge. But not anymore. Okay. I guess I've told you almost everything. I didn't tell you about the spring clothing below the video, but if you go there, you're going to find lots of cool stuff all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. 
My, I have Le Gallerist, which is exclusive clothing from Montreal with all over print dresses and kimono tops. It's investment prices, but it's beautiful and worth seeing. I'm about to add a new design. I hope I remember to get around to it one day soon. I'll see you guys in on seven days a week. Uh, lately, it's been at a quarter to 12 Eastern Standard Time and uh, early 9.30 in the morning. But you can never tell. <laughs> and you can always ask me. And usually I post the videos to my Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group student group on Facebook. And uh, other Facebook pages of mine too. So you guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery out. Saying I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.